Hello and welcome. This is going to be my review of a very special knife, the Spyderco Cali 3 Super Blue. It is a 2013 sprint run by Spyderco. I think there are about four, four, yeah, sprint runs this year, and uh, th this is one of them. Okay, now a sprint run just mainly means that the the knife will only be in production and be so sold, well, be sold for, for one year. Okay, as such, I think only about a thousand are made. Okay, so you're looking at a, a limited number, one of a thousand really, okay, across the world. Now, I'm going to run into some specifications. First of all, the overall length open of this knife is 6.9 inches or 17.7 centimeters. The blade length is 3 inches or 7.8 centimeters. And the cutting edge length is 2.6 inches or 6.8 centimetres. And the weight is 3 ounces or 87.6 grams. Okay, now this uh, specific uh, model, uh, as you can see here, Cali 3 Super Blue, uh, it features Ayagami Super Blue Steel. Okay, now the steel as it says there, super blue. The steel is produced by Hitachi Metals at their plant uh, in their Shimane or Shimane, Shimane um, prefecture in Japan. Okay, and basically the the foundry uses uh, high quality iron sa sand found exclusively in that re region of Japan. Okay, and it creates different grades of steels. They 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 call white steels and blue steels. Okay, um, the colours don't actually refer to the the colours of the steels, um, ha but rather the colour of the paper that the raw steel comes wrapped in when it's delivered. Okay, um, and our white and blue paper that's all well and good, but my Cali Three Super Blue came wrapped in brown paper, so it must mean the actual steel itself not not the knife okay um super blue is the highest grade ayagami blue steel and contains up to 1.5 percent carbon to enhance its long lasting wearability and chrome to elevate its hardness and corrosion resistance okay so it, it does have a fair amount of carbon in it okay now um some say <laughs> some say uh it's very similar to uh, another super steel, high grade steel, which is uh, ZDP 189. Okay, um, it it doesn't have as much carbon as ZDP 189, um, but it does have more tungsten. Okay, which creates adds strength to it. Okay, and that also means that because it doesn't have as much carbon, but it's as strong, you may say, um, it means it's easier to sharpen. So it's very technical with steel elements and things, but basically it is ZD, Super Steel ZDP 189, but easy to to sharpen. Okay, um, the edge retention is incredible. It came super super sharp, and um, the edge, like ZDP, it's so the the steel is so hard that the edge will probably not um, bend or fold. It will just simply chip. Okay, it's it's that that hard. Okay, let's talk about the usual talking points I talk about with knives, and we go straight into the handle scales. Okay, um, Spyderco did bring out a, a Cali 3.5 in Super Blue um, a year two years ago, and it's the same kind of color. It's it's the grey G10. I think all their Super Blue steel knives come in this grey uh, G10. Okay, it's medium to high grip, but yet you can f just feel the quality oozing out of that grip. Okay, that is high grade G10 and um, finished very, very well. Okay, um, the the pocket clip. Okay, it's a wire pocket clip. It's fine. Um, it's tip up carry only, but it's uh, reversible. Okay, the ergonomics. This knife is very, very comfortable in the hand. Okay, very comfortable. Um, I can see why Spyderco used this as the basis for uh, uh, the UK PK handle um, rather than another handle scale. I mean, other than the blade size, 
you can it's just very very comfortable one of the most comfortable knives I've ever held this and the UK PK and this is essentially uh, a UK PK but with slightly longer blade length and um, obviously incredibly better steel um, G10 and uh, a locking mechanism a lock back okay um, but you, you can tell the liners okay inside there you can just about tell they are heavily milled and um, to reduce the weight excellent skeletonization there okay um, the deployment it is the the standard thumb hole the thumb hole is quite large there's no um, extra cut out there or on it on either side it's it's symmetrical um, but uh, the, the thumb hole is quite large and you can easily find purchase and uh, deploy the, the the knife it's a little bit slower because it's a, a lot back okay so you're not going to be um, whipping this out very quickly okay although you can still well deploy it quite quickly okay and um, it does have the, the David Boyle uh, detent or uh, dent um, so that you don't accidentally um, unlock the knife uh, when you're holding it okay nice feature um, the, it w when it's locked it does feel very solid okay it's a very solid lock up all right um, the, 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 there's jimping on the thumb ramp and on the finger chore there excellent and it's good jimping it's it really locks your fingers into place okay now the the price of one of these they are quite expensive and um, one because of the steel it's incredible steel okay and two because of uh, because of the collectability they're, they're a sprint run okay all sprint runs are fairly expensive and um, because they're one-offs okay so they limited number which means that they can't recoup their costs in mass producing them so, if you will now it says Japan on there and it's also got Sal Glass's uh, little signature and um, with the deployment it please do comment uh, below but with mine I don't know if this is a I assume it, it's fine and uh, this is what it's supposed to be but when I deploy this can you see the pivot move it moves ever so slightly and then stops moving now I've tried tightening it but obviously that just tightens the the blade and um, I've tried doing many things but that pivot as you can see um, see moves it moves when when it's open then it stops and then again it moves back to where it was um, that might just be the design of it I've never had a Cali 3 before all Cali 3's might might be the same but but there we go okay I'm going to do some size comparisons okay uh, obviously with the Spyderco UK PK look at that look at that the handle scale now for me I think that the scale is, is slightly longer on the 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 Cali 3 but to be fair it could well be exactly the same size the blade is definitely longer on the Cali 3 okay but it's just that shape it's the curve along the spine of the the handle and it's it's the finger choil and these uh, scalloped parts of the, the handle that make it so damn comfortable so very very comfortable okay in the hand all right but uh, yeah the comparisons are very deep they're definitely in the same family tree okay um, I'll probably do a video later on uh, to show you the differences between the UK PK Cali 3, Cali 3.5 and, and uh, possibly the Calypso okay so another uh, another knife in the family tree would be the Calypso there she is uh, huge but the same kind of um, scale and for people that don't have a, a UK PK or a Calypso um, or a 3.5 or a Cali uh, here's a Spyderco Tenacious just to show you the, the size differences um, and the refinement of uh, an excellent blade shape and uh, contoured handle okay so that's a little size comparison there for you okay so yeah going back to the price one of these will set you back about £145 they're not cheap 
they're quite expensive but that's because of the steel because of the the workmanship um and because it's a sprint run as well okay uh, but I think it's an excellent, excellent knife, okay, probably the ultimate uh, gentleman's pocket knife, I would say. Um, if you've got a Cali 3 uh, with ZDP 189, there you go, you, you know what I'm talking about, okay. It's with this handle scale, it's one of the most uh, comfortable knives I've ever owned. Found, the found owner of company Sal uh, Glesser. He carries a Cali 3.5, I believe, or a or a Cali 3. So that just goes to show you um, how much he holds this uh, this kind of knife, kind of series. Um, how how high he in his uh, praise he holds it. Okay, very high. Okay, anyway, that was just my review of the Spyderco Cali 3 uh, Super Blue Sprint Run. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's an excellent knife, a um, little bit pricey, but yeah. Please do comment, rate, and subscribe if you've had any experiences with any of the Spyderco uh, sprint runs, uh, or if you've got this one and you just want to um, say some comments, please do. Um, thank you very much for joining me and watching. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate all your support, and uh, thanks, thanks again. Take care.